A boma is a term used primarily in East and Southern Africa to refer to an enclosed area or a structure with defined boundaries. The term, boma, originated from the Swahili language, but it has been adopted by various African cultures and languages. 1. Traditional boma. In a traditional sense, a boma is typically a circular or rectangular enclosure made of natural materials such as thorny bushes, wooden poles, or stacked stones. 1. It is commonly used for livestock management and protection, especially in rural communities where pastoralism is prevalent. 1. Traditional boma serves several important functions. A. Livestock enclosure. The primary purpose of a traditional boma is to keep livestock, such as cattle, goats, or sheep, safe and contained within a specific area. The sturdy fences or walls prevent animals from wandering off and protect them from predators. B. Predator deterrence. In regions where wild predators like lions, hyenas, or leopards pose a threat to livestock, bomas act as a deterrent. The thorny bushes or solid barriers help keep predatory animals at bay and reduce conflicts between humans and wildlife. Circa nighttime shelter, bomas provide a safe space for animals to rest and graze during the night, offering protection from nocturnal predators and ensuring the herd security. D. Herding and sorting. Bomas also serve as gathering points for herders to round up and sort their livestock, allowing for easier management, counting, and identification of individual animals. 1. Cultural and social significance. Beyond the practical uses, bomas hold cultural and social significance in many African communities. 1. They are often associated with communal living, traditions, and social gatherings. A. Meeting place. In some cultures, bomas function as community meeting places where important discussions, celebrations, or ceremonies take place. They serve as central hubs for communal activities, fostering unity and social cohesion. B. Cultural preservation. Traditional bomas showcase the architectural and cultural heritage of local communities, representing their connection to the land and the traditional way of life. 1. Safari lodges and tourism. In the context of tourism and safari experiences, the term, boma, has been adapted to create unique and immersive guest experiences. A. Outdoor gathering space. Many safari lodges and camps feature a designated boma area. These outdoor spaces are often surrounded by a circular or semi-circular enclosure, typically made of wooden poles or low walls. It serves as a focal point for guests to gather, share stories, enjoy meals, and engage in traditional cultural performances around a campfire. B. Dining and entertainment. Bomas in safari lodges provide a memorable setting for outdoor dining experiences, where guests can savor delicious African cuisine, experience live entertainment, and connect with local traditions and customs. Circa cultural exchange. Safari lodges may organize interactive cultural activities in the boma, such as storytelling sessions, traditional music and dance performances, or craft demonstrations, offering guests an opportunity to engage with local culture and customs. In summary, a boma is an enclosed area or structure that serves various purposes depending on the context and region. Whether used as livestock enclosures, meeting places, or cultural gathering spaces, bomas are integral to African traditions, livelihoods, and the safari tourism experience, providing a sense of security, community, and cultural enrichment.